if she's already left for work yet or if she's still getting ready. Just pretend we're not here. Yes, because you've been so unobtrusive so far. Uh, what are they? What are what are you doing here? I um I, I left work early. I thought I would treat you to the breakfast and, and they followed. We wanted to see where you were living now that you lost AI. Um, well, I don't really have time to go out to breakfast. Kenneth is on the porn set all day today, so I have to head in soon. Um, I made coffee. I could pour you a cup, you know, while, while you get ready. No, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. It's no, fine. Go no, ahead. really. No, really. I'm, I'm sorry. It's not important. No, of just course say. it is. Just, I'm sorry. Oh, for God's sake, just say what you're going to say. Well, that's that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to say that I'm sorry. Don't say sorry. Well, no, just I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Okay? About no. about losing the company to Pam and, and losing the house and that I never consulted you about any of it. And, and I'm sorry that I let you down and then that I that just caused this rift between us. You know, and I know you're icing me out, and I deserve it. I just wish that we could go back to where we were. You know, I, I just want to wake up with you next to me again. But most of all, I want to stop this pain and this ache in my heart from the pain that I caused you. cinnamon buns are done. What? I need to go. Make sure you save some buns for Jimmy and Bob. Hey, um, I'll, I'll go in with you. We can ride together. Uh, no. You should take a shower uh, before you go back to the office. Oh, okay. I need to go. Well, he should be there soon, ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm sorry, we don't have drone delivery like Amazon. But his Uber is in Park Slope. He should be there shortly. Mm -hmm. Thank you for choosing Pamela's Dolls. Have a good call. Hey. hey! I see Steven left you in charge this morning. He did, and I just sent Brennan out on a call 20 minutes ago. I guess it's a good thing you were here to take the call. We haven't gotten a morning wood call in a while. We haven't. She said she needed a growing boy to cuddle, and since Stephen left me in charge, Brent was the only one that had what she needed. He was not very happy about it. He really is. So, how was your morning? Crowded. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. Uh-huh. What time did Stephen have you take over last night? 3 a.m. I came home from a late call and saw him sleeping at his desk. So I sent him home to sleep in a real bed at 7 a.m. Are you okay? No. Um, what are you doing right now? Just covering the phones. Do you have to go on any calls this morning? No. Okay. I need you to run your boyfriend routine with me. Really? Wait, how far do you want it to go? What do you mean? Well, boyfriend calls usually start with talking, which then leads to spooning, which then usually leads to forking, and then sometimes sporking. <laughs> Definitely no sporking or forking. I just need a friend. And while Jessica's great, I don't want to burden her with this now that things are working out with Bob. Oh, okay. I'll meet you on Ken's couch in 20 minutes. Yay! There's 
my boy. My, how you've grown. Come in, come in, come in. And let's get that onesie on you so we can have a little playtime before nap. I said okay, and then I left. I waited seven months for him to apologize. That was what I wanted. And all I said was, okay. He apologized to me two weeks ago. He only apologized to Jess last week. So I'm the last stop on the Stevens and asshole apology tour. Apparently. But I think it's because he knows he hurt you the most. And he still doesn't know what to say. And does my growing boy want his lunch? I thought that when I heard those words, I'm sorry, that I would instantly forgive him. But I'm still so angry at him. After all this time, I'm so angry. It's only natural. I hear it's common for humans to hold on to emotions far longer than is healthy. I guess I'm just tired of feeling angry. Why do you feel like you can't forgive Stephen? Because we were a team, and he cut me out, and he put all of us here with Kenneth. And I get that he did it so that we could all be together, but I've never felt so apart from him before. He was my life. And if I don't have him, what do I have? That's my boy. You just needed a little release. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, it feels so great. Oh, you are so good at this. Thanks. You feel a little better? Yeah, a little bit. Um, it's good to get all that off my chest. But it still doesn't change anything. We're still stuck here. And Charlie is still with Donald doing fetish porn films. And Kenneth basically owns us thanks to him. Yep. But you can talk to Steven. That is the one thing you can change. Oh. Smells like my big boy needs his diaper change. I think I'm good. Ugh, Nana knows best. You really don't have to rub my feet. Well, I really don't have to do anything. But you asked for the non-sexual boyfriend experience, and a foot rub is the next best thing to sex, according to my weekly Sunday brunch appointment. <laughs> I'm sorry if this makes things weird between you and Steven. Are you kidding? I'm specifically designed to compartmentalize. Huh, that's weird. What? Did you take a little protrusion on the inside of your right ankle? It's like a little bump on top of the bone. Um, <laughs> weird. Uh, yeah. You know, Kenneth has the same bump on his right ankle. It's weird. Yeah, weird. Um, I, I should get back to work. Oh, okay. And thank you. Thank you for everything. Um, although this, this goes without saying, but this never happened. <laughs> well, this isn't my first rodeo. Oh, speaking of which, Brandon and I have another My Little Pony call next week. Cool. Cinnamon buns, fresh from the oven, and no one's here. Oh, hey, Brandon. I... Okay, never mind. He doesn't eat. Oh, hey, guys. I brought uh, uh, homemade glazed cinnamon buns. Oh, I, I uh, glazed it myself. Yeah. 
I can't look at my cinnamon buns in the same way anymore. Do you want? No. Yes. No one wants my glazed buns. Story of my life. 